Hello, piss babies. This tutorial will be for the track tool. It was created by Shadow Scion, who is actually the creator of S-Props as well. It allows you to create a realistic and lagless system of tank treads for your tank. With a very high degree of customability. Customability? <laughs> customization for it. Um, it interacts with suspension. You can use it with parented wheels. And uh, overall, it's pretty great. So we'll get into it here. We'll go to your tank tracks tool. Quick overview. Um, the controllers are manipulated through the C menu. But you have enable your HUD selection helpers and enable HUD NC markers, just leave them on. You can enable damage when the tracks are damaged. Um, it's just visual of course. Disable rendering. I'm not sure why you'd ever use that. Um, and then refresh all, which is there in case you join a server you don't see people's treads so we'll create some treads for this first I gotta delete my existing ones where the hell they are I usually spawn these on the ground and then place them within the tank so we'll go to our tool here we'll just click on the ground create a controller and then we're gonna right click the controller and you're gonna right click the chassis of your vehicle what did I do you want to make sure it points forward. The arrows will tell you if it's pointing forward or not. So you want to make sure your chassis it can form. It can point forward or backwards. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it doesn't point left and right or some shit like that. And then we're going to select our wheels with right click. And turn them red. If you have return rollers, which go along the top, you hold shift and right click them. And then go back to the controller, right click it on again, do the other side as well, same process. Select all your road wheels, you can select as many road wheels as you want in any order, it doesn't matter. Just hold shift for your return rollers though. Right click it again, then it gives you just some basic settings for it. So we're going to edit those settings, set them to something that we like remove my skirts actually. <sighs> okay, so let's go to our first one here. So what do we got? To figure track settings. We have detail, which is the amount of segments in the track. Uh, I usually keep it around three to four. Um, then we have color, which is you know is the you know the color, you dumbass. Um, material, I've got a whole bunch of different tread materials. I'm going to use this tiger looking one. Width, it's just the width of the treads. Pretty self explanatory. Height, which is the thickness of the treads. And then we've got radius, which alters the, the radius of the road wheels in case you got some weird custom sphere radius or something. Um, roller radius. That's for just your rollers. Um, for the rollers, don't use a really long and skinny prop. Just use a wheel. Otherwise, it does some fuckery. Offset, which is you know, the left and right offset of the track. Stick that back on there. Then we got um, sprocket. Now, what this does is it tells the tool which wheel it wants to get the spinny information from. So if you have parented front and rear idlers like I do, my front idler is just a parented wheel, doesn't do anything. The rear drive sprocket is physical and it spins, but it's parented. Um, it doesn't touch the ground, so you can parent it and it still functions. So we needed to get the information from one of the road wheels. So you have, on here I have one through nine, which are all of my road wheels from one side, or all the wheels I should say. So I'm just gonna set it at number two, which should be this wheel here, which does move, or one of the, If you're driving your shit around and the tracks don't spin, change this to something. Um, tension, that's the track tension. You can make it all saggy and nice. Slack, I don't usually ever use this. Um, especially if you have return rollers because it does awesome things like that. Just turns your tank into a serpentine belt. Um, so you don't usually need that. Tension usually does what you want it to. Just give it a lot. So there we go. Um, so we need to copy these settings to the other side. 
Oh, something I should also notice. Note, not notice. It um it doesn't really matter if your wheels are not aligned all together. Um, I believe it just uses the first wheel that you click for their alignment. So as you can see, my drive sprocket sticks out farther than my front idler for some stupid reason. I don't remember why I did that. Alright, so copying the settings, I'm going to go back to our tool. You're going to hold shift, click your controller, and then you're going to don't press shift and click the other one. Copies it over. Um, something that you should note, if you use offset, um, like I have 0.73 offset over here it's not going to mirror it on the other side so you'll have to go to your other controller configure settings and then remove or put a negative sign on there and then you can just close it out like that and then you can take your controllers put them within the tank or whatever um, see I can show you uh, them moving around like that, see, they spin, do nice things. My front wheels are parented and they still work. It does interact with suspension and that sort of thing. This tank doesn't really have any formal suspension, it's just axis. And it still does the job. Oh, I sat in the wrong seat. Where'd it go? There we go. Does anyone see it? Oh, oh fuck. No. Attack with the controllers. Du, 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 du. And there you have it. Now you have some working treads. You don't need really laggy E2s for it anymore. Anything like that. It does handle damage pretty well. It just puts it to the next road wheel. Like so. And if you delete some weird ones, it still does a pretty good job. I've never seen this tool crash a server or cause any kind of performance issues. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we styling now. But uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, have fun out there and uh, make some horrible tanks.